So you're about to show up to the grill when you realize you have one very large problem. The last piece of coal. But that's no problem because luckily you have sugar and sulfuric acid drain opener. And since you passed high school chemistry, then I'm sure you know what this means. We can make our own coal. But first, let me warn you. You're gonna be having sulfuric acid vapors, so you're gonna want some protective gear. You do not want to be breathing with fuel to find it in the gas mask. Calm with pure carbon, aka coal. Now what just happened? We had some sugar, threw in some sulfuric acid, and things went crazy. Now to understand this, you first need to know one thing. Sulfuric acid, it has a little bit of a love interest with a molecule known as H2O. But, sometimes, as was the case in this example, H2O dumped sulfuric acid. His heart broke and became entrenched with rage and turned to poor little sugar. And as sulfuric acid peered into sugar's chemical soul, it saw C12H22O11, particularly the H22O11 part looked a lot like H2O to sulfuric acid, or should we call him by his real name, H2SO4. So it was like sugar, throw it on that plus side, draw the arrow, we're having a reaction whether you like it or not. And it took enriched from sugar 12 of its H2O's. And it didn't stop there. It went and formed CO2. That molecule we're always hearing about is destroying the planet or something I really didn't know. But it's still relentless. And O2 wandered in just from the atmosphere, minding its own business. When sulfuric acid reached out, grabbed it, and yanked it in half. We're throwing one of you into this reaction. And what did it do with that oxygen? Well, it used it to make sulfur dioxide. The same chemical that makes rotten eggs stink. <sighs> and how did it leave? Poor little sugar. All that's left of it was 11 atoms of carbon. It took sugar, pure white, and turned it into a dirty black lump of coal. 
and not just any coal, a bloated lump of coal. And why was it bloated? One is simply because carbon takes up more room than sugar. The other was because it was filled with all the escaping gases. Yeah, you heard me right, sulfuric acid. Your own children don't want you. Goodbye. And what else was caused by your exothermic rage? Well, you don't even have your beloved H2O because you boiled it away. Are you happy with yourself? Oh wait, you can't be happy because your anger consumed you. You committed suicide in this reaction. You are dead. Worthless. Now, the only question is, is the sugar poor and innocent also been rendered worthless? Nope. It is burning quite nicely in my grill. <laughs> So as you can see, I have under an ohm of resistance through this entire piece because carbon is very conductive. <coughs> the sulfuric acid fumes are terrible. Oh. Oh.